Hello and welcome, I am Xari and this is Minecraft episode 5 of my Under the Sea theme and today we're gonna build a greenhouse with all kind of colors and flowers or maybe I should call it a blue house. And yes, we also need some food farms in this world and I have some kind of secret bamboo tunnel going around. Indeed, so much to do and here I'm sitting in my storage room that I built last week. Indeed, and it is full of color, uh, but I think I forgot something. I didn't think I named the axolotls and the fish and it's kind of empty. Yes, that is totally my mistake. And here is the watcher. It's the, the mermaid man of the watcher of the stores room. But he still doesn't have a name, so do you know a name for him? Then let me know. And here's the bamboo farm and we have a troubles in the bamboo farm. What's going on? It's working too good. <laughs> I've been building here a lot on the server and look, it's just, it's keep overflowing. So I do need um, having, making a storage room with some auto crafters. And if I'm looking around, do you see something different from last week? Do you see it? Well, look. It's only a couple of seconds here, it took me definitely a couple of hours um, building, but I said let's start some food farms. And yes, I thought this spot in between um, my starter house and the hill behind me where I want to build more on top of it as well, um, and the bamboo farm and storage room, I think it is a good feature to have something here, something not too big, not too overpowering. I thought, well, maybe, maybe a, a wheat farm is nice. So I'm gonna make this circle. It's four to every side. That means that with one source of water, I can reach this entire area. And uh, yeah, that's why I build it uh, this small or this big with a slab, and you cannot kind of fall in. And I thought, let's make a little bit of a water plant in it, just fitting the theme of an ocean. A build of ocean theme build because of course I'm not gonna flood this entire area and I really like these colors the colors of purple um, and, and the dripping down of the crying obsidian I think it's so pretty yeah I know it's not a blocks that not that easy to obtain but I, I when I build like this it is of course in a creative world then I just gonna use whatever I can use and I'm not using it for oh can you obtain it easily it's basically all for the colors now let's frame this bony lid and look here it is nothing the lanterns the color really complements the weed and it's all and of course of with the house yeah, I think it's not too bad at all and that empty hill behind me I thought I'm gonna make some more food farms because with weed alone we're not gonna take it and yes, I'm trying to make some coral discs. Now, if you're familiar, I'm making here the under the seam a theme build. And I like, I thought, well, making some coral plants, do they really exist in real life? I don't know, but it is color, it is light. And I think it fits this empty space. And I was like struggling, what should I build on this side of the mountain of this hill? But I think this fits pretty good in it. There's all kind of different ones and then you need to terraform and decorate it a little bit to make it pop but not so much because I don't want to make it all too cluttered and yeah I'm gonna show you how I made a staircase I know it's not the prettiest staircase of all but I think it fits the theme as well with the colors and and it's very easy you, you don't need to fly you can just walk all over the place we have some carrots here some beetroot in the first one and over there, I believe out of my head, if I remind it good, it's the potatoes. Yes, it is. And we can go even higher. And here is like the pumpkin and the melons. And I think I forget something else. Because here, yeah, I do like to use a lot of flowers. So I got uh, the flowers from the sniffer in here. And I really like the, the view from up here. That you look down in the valley and of course I know only the starter area has been kind of built in and transformed. And look the big jellyfish that is an iron farm and the fish around and I think I want to build here a greenhouse. If you like my content please think about it to subscribe it's really helping me uh, pushing my videos and growing my channel. So now it's time to build like the farmer's house greenhouse and I thought what kind of shape should I go for? 
And I actually uh, used blue because the background is of course like this brown reddish, so blue will definitely pop against it. But I also thought, well it is like an ocean theme build, let's do blue and let's have some waves in, in the building. And that's what I was trying to mimic. And I thought, well, if you have waves, maybe they go up and then you can hang a lantern down. But at the end, I thought it looked more like an, uh, an elephant or a mammoth than uh, <laughs> like waves on the building. So I actually took them off and I thought, I need something to pop out to actually bring those waves to the front. And I thought, yeah, maybe just frame him like this. And now it kind of looks like a clam house, clam shell house. I was pretty happy with it. And when I'm pretty happy with the outside, it's time to do the inside. Now it is a bit of an odd shape, it's pretty tall, and I didn't want to really close it up completely, but to, to be quite honest, I just started without a plan. But I know I wanted to use a lot of flowers, a lot of green, a lot of plants in it, because that's absolutely what I like. I needed a staircase and I didn't want to use a ladder like I normally always do. So this is more like of a creative ladder, I think, of a staircase. And in every house, you need a little kitchen. It, it gives the feeling of the house is being lifted, you can use it. And with a kitchen, you need a little dining table, a coffee maker, and of course, some lights in it as well. And I sometimes I'm really bold with my lights, it's right in your face. And sometimes I try to hide my lights in my builds. And this is a neat little trick you can actually do. This is also a trick. One is higher than the other, so one you can uh, hang something on it, like a lantern, and then the others you can actually set something on, like a flower pot or a chest, or if you have a head or a little block you really like. And yes, the big pots as well. I don't use them all the time, but I thought in this greenhouse, I think they have a good space for it. Now, and it's me, sometimes I swap around things and Yes, indeed, I also made a little bit of a bedroom, it's not too big, and I really like this closet building. It's like if you have a little bit of a block that's a bit of an odd block, an odd space, you can just pop, pop it in this, and it has a reason you can just, maybe it's the first gear you ever found on your server, or gear you really grind it for. And like I said, these pots, I don't use them so much, but you have to keep a crouch. Otherwise, you just pop an item in there. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, where's the item? And it's in there. Now, I like that, I think it's called the Better Leaves mod that I have on, because they make the leaves more bushier, not as blocky. And like I said, here's also a little bit of a one-off block, so I just pop some chests in it, because we never have enough storage rooms. And now, when the inside is done, it's time to actually work on the outside. And here, some of you have maybe seen this before, but this is basically how I built my water plants. Now, it's just like go and feel, and that's why I also fly a lot of backwards so I can see, does it fit? Is it overpowering something? Um, is it too big, too small? And I just play around with it. Now, this is the one I can hang the lanterns from, so you got a lot of light as well, and it really pops out in the background. I really like that. I've built it also on the other side. And now I do a little bit of a time lapse because you don't have to watch me seeing I've built 10 of these plants. I think if you have seen one of two, you know how I do it. But I'd like to show you that, yes, it is placed block by block. Even if it is a creative world, there's no like world edits, no schematics. I absolutely build it from just on the fly and I just go. And now it's time for a secret. I got a little bit of a secret tunnel in here. Yes, indeed. I'm like, ooh. And I have some plans for it, but that's for next episode. Because I want to build a scene under here from the Little Mermaid. But right now it's just a tunnel from um, my storage room to the bamboo farm. Indeed, look. And I made a little bit of a room underneath the bamboo farm. Because like I said, this farm is running and it is running. I got so much bamboo for it and it's even not that big. So I removed it. A lot of the bamboo is here that I took out of the chest over there and out of the system. And I actually put an auto crafter behind it. So all the bamboo is now turned into uh, these blocks. 
And this is kind of the auto crafter I used. Now I'm actually going to show you block by block what you need. You kind of need two crafters, three redstone dust, uh, two comparators, three wool, and then a chest and a hopper, or how you connect it to your items. And this is how you do it. Now make sure it's, the little dot is pointing away and then you click one time on it. You put the other comparator on it and here is um, the second crafter and you click on six of them, it's for the timing. And then in here I actually put a chest in front of it so it will spit out the blocks in the chest. And of course on the other side I have it on directly on the hopper line from the farm. But here you can just add your bamboo and in here it's going to fill it up and it's going to basically spit it out in the chest. And this is how you auto craft um, these blocks from bamboo sticks. And I know you can make all the blocks with auto crafters, but I am not that far with them yet. So for now, I think this will do. And now it's time to decorate this storage and to have some storage in there as well for all the different blocks. And if you know me, I always like to decorate with plants to have a, a little bit of color and light in it. And yes, also a sitting area. And many times I use a bed because it's always handy to have a bed around. And it actually kind of mimics a sofa or something like that. Now here's your inner chest, your furnace, crafting table. And all the blocks you can basically make from bamboo. Now I know it's like the bamboo raft is not in here. and the, But yeah. And I think it, it turned out pretty good. It's not like over detailed like I always do. This is, is more like relaxed and mellow. And now I can actually close this one up because I don't need to go down there anymore. The farm is running and it's running into the auto crafter. And that is what I needed for today. Yes. Now, I thought it was pretty well done, don't you think? I can have it run and not being afraid that it will kind of, yeah, overflow. I really want to thank you all for watching and liking and commenting on my videos. It really helps me pushing the videos out. I love this building theme and I hope you enjoy it. I hope to see you next week. 